Okay guys, it's looking very nice here. We're at Tugela. Um, all of us met, uh, the club met at a um, Pumalanga league we're fishing. So we met at Blastel in the car park and uh, we decided that most of us here will fish together from a safety aspect and uh, we thought we'll come for the night session. There's a lot of rain everywhere. There's a lot of grey sharks in certain spots but we thought we'll give it, it's a 24 hour session. It starts tonight at 7 o'clock, Friday night till Saturday night 7 o'clock and you can choose your times to fish. So we're going to do the first session here, see if we can find some raggies and other bigger fish and if that doesn't work then well Tomorrow we'll climb into the greys and look for some sandies, brown skates, blues, whatever's around. So let's hope that's the plan. Let's have some hope some of it comes true. Uh, looking at the water, you can see with all the rain, the water's coming down the Tugela and with the west and the southwest and the southeast, it's pushed a lot of that brown water up north, which obviously should be good should even be good for, for diamonds depending on the water temperature but with the southwest southeast uh, water temperature tends to heat up so uh, we'll see but uh, when it gets dark and stuff the raggies normally come in here and I uh, hope we're lucky enough I hope they come close enough for us to get them I know Ray said that uh, the guys got them on drone yesterday um, but not from the site so let's hope we get that right we're only allowed to cast we allow two rods. If there's no weed, you can put one slide rod, one cast rod. You can't put two slide rods or two casting rods. So I'm again waiting for Jace and Ray. That's taking forever to. You would think they got their stuff ready long beforehand, but they come here, they build, they sit and make traces, they put clothes on. Um, Ray's behind the bush, probably. I don't know what he's doing there. But yeah, uh, eventually we'll start walking. guys I overdid it again with tackle but uh, we're a bit north of where we parked nice waiting bank you can see it's emptying up so nicely here and we'll have about three hours fishing two hours three hours maybe Jay said water's cold it's color can hook anything sandies honeys everything will could be around so quite excited and my medium maybe I'll put aside for tomorrow and I'm going to slide one bait, see if there's weed, it looks alright. There's no big surge or side wash. So there shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be weed moving. So if there's nothing in front of us, I think it's quite safe. We'll see. Uh, put one slide bait out, one cast bait. The reason I would fish a slide bait is I'm allowed to go out now and throw my sinkers along. So your work rate's up a little bit. Um, and slide bait gives you a bit more distance, bigger baits. Uh, in the leagues they still allow that. So why not? If not, why not? We've got some fresh bait. I picked up some bait from uh, Atkan this morning. But we also picked up some fresh, freshly caught mackerel and red eyes. Which uh, should uh, do us proud. Yeah guys, yeah, the conditions look great, uh, it actually turned out to be a marvellous, marvellous, marvellous evening. So hopefully we get some nice big pools here. Yeah? Uh, we're fishing the Mapum Mulanga League. Um, like Andre was saying, I don't think there's a lot of weed here. I walked along the beach and I don't see any weed on the beach. If there was weed out there, it should have pushed in, the, in on the high tide and we should see some traces of it. So yeah, it's looking very, very nice. I jumped in the ocean, a little soft there in front, uh, about a shoulder deep. It uh, should get a little shallow in the next hour. So yeah, the guy should have a blast. It is looking really, really good. After a long time, we've seen such good conditions. And there's been a lot of fish around this area. There's been some raggies, honeycomb, sandies. So yeah, let's get ready. Seven o'clock start. Hopefully I'm the first one on that bank. 
uh, I'm going to try to help swim everybody to get to the front. Uh, they say uh, early bird catches, uh, oh, what's it, early bird catches the worm. Hopefully it's a very, very big worm with lots of big teeth. That's what I'm looking for. Fresh mackerel and mullet. Use the mullet as a base. The mackerel still looks alive on my on my, on my hook. his head. The hooks are really nice and proud. Maggie like can jump on that anytime. And it's nice and hooked. Okay, so as it happens, we were calling at last cast and all ready to pack up to carry on tomorrow morning because nothing was happening. And then one of the club members, Mark, got stuck into a raggy, landed about a 40, 40 odd kilo raggy. So we're all back in the water. Tide's obviously higher now, so you have to swim to get to that back. As you can see, my face is even wet. Um, but yeah, we're having another throw there. On the high tide, there's a hole down the beach where we can try, but this might be the last course we could get onto that bank. So let's hope there's another one. It wasn't only just that, uh, that one reggae swimming around. So let's hope sometimes there's some more action. Someone else gets stuck into something. Like this. Who's playing with my line? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, Jace has got a rod out. Uh, velocian has got one out. I think there to the left. Hey, someone's rod hopping there. I think Mark, who caught the, the reggae, he's going to put another bait out. Ray walked past, we told him we're going home, so he said he's going to the bucket already. We tried to get his attention, but uh, yeah, I think he's not going to be very happy with us. When we get back, he's probably going to be sleeping under the bucket. Uh. Yeah guys, uh, uh, two bites, first one turn around put me on my leader and the second bite reggae as well on the rod stand. I saw the bump, picked him up as he went away, set the hooks into him and while fighting him obviously the hooks pulled. Yeah, so two fish, gone. I think I had enough for the night. I 
come back tomorrow morning and try again. Yeah, it's, you must know when to give it up and try again tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do. Go home, have a braai, get a good night's rest and I'll be back here tomorrow morning. Now the Saturday morning I opted to join Linton at Zinquazi to give the team some extra options in getting some points on the board. Good okay, morning guys. Um, just got here to Zinquazi in the north coast. I'm going to be trying for some grey sharks today. Fished here last night, got quite a few, so we're hoping we can pick up from where we left off yesterday and get a couple more. Uh, we're going to be throwing a plain chocker bait with a couple of tassels hanging over it. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, um, as I said earlier, we are at Zinquazi, fishing for some grey sharks. Um, what's happening here at the moment is, with all the recent heavy rains that we've had, the rivers came down. And it's pushed a lot of sand into the, into the surf area, so we've created this wading bank here in front of the swimming beach. we just on the left hand side of the swimming area, the lifeguards politely allowed us to fish on this side. So yeah, we, what we're doing is we're wading out as far as we can, trying to get as deep as possible because that's your best chance of booking one of these greys. So yeah, I got a whole bunch last night, uh, the evening into the night. We hooked a big fish and we lost it as well, so we're hoping we can get a few more. If this doesn't pan out, we're gonna move around a bit obviously, further down the coast, see if we can get more fish. Catch up with you later. It's still about an hour before low tide. I, I suspect the grey sharks will only come on maybe uh, from low tide onwards with a push. Um, the rest of my whole club is all together, so I opted to come here maybe just to tick some points. I came with uh, Linton. He got a lot of grey sharks here last night. Um, this morning only one came out, but now it's pushing to a low. So, Jace, Ray, and the rest of the club, about eight oaks is at. Uh, together still but we'll give it a good shot this side put it a little dirty a little base quit and see if I can't lure in maybe a small sandy or a small honey in the meantime all right we're gonna move uh, to Siola now it's a bit dead yeah tides turned so I'd rather go look for a big fish there. Which is that point in the far there. Back at Tugela, things did work out for some anglers. Alright guys, we moved to uh, Siola Point, a spot I haven't really fished, or haven't fished at all before. Uh, Linton brought me here, and uh, I suggested it, and there's a little bit of colour. The main colour from Tugela is quite far still, but we're going to try it. The guys advised me that there's some really nice black fins here, so I'm bringing up a slide bait. Um, well, let's see now, I just want to see if my line didn't damage last night, so I'll have a quick throw on that. And then obviously on my leader, I add another just over a meter of 150 pound. That's the black fence jump, it just helps. But then I jump you off. For raggy fishing, it works as well. And then, uh, Linton, I uh, didn't actually pack nice big slide blades, but Linton uh, handed me 
see this? Can't ask for better. Nice little bunny. Perfect little baby. Hi guys, uh, we just moved here to Siola Point now. A uh, little bit of colour in the water, as Andre said. So I'm gonna basically throw a bait for a sandy or a honey or flatfish. Um, what I'm gonna be throwing is a mackerel head, taking the nose off, made it a little bit aerodynamic, and I'm gonna cover that with uh, red eye. So I'm not gonna put cutlets, I'm gonna cut chunks of red eye and cover it around and make a bigger bait. So this is gonna be my base. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cover it with red eye and see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, guys, now in summertime, any non edible angler. That is like milkshake to a kid, what's coming there, the brown water. With that, normally we expect at least some sandies and some diamonds, but the fish move with it. The water is fairly cold, the tide's pushing, and the northeast is blowing just enough. And you won't believe how fast that moved in. Oh, I don't even want to guess. Probably did a kilometer in 20 minutes now as it came in. We saw it way far when we arrived here an hour ago. And it's just pushing, pushing. It should reach us in the next 20 minutes. This area should be brown water. And that's what we want. Let's hope the fish are with it. <laughs> 